For people who are away on Friday, task one, okay, you might want to start there today and do the history of recording, watch the YouTubes, etc, etc, do the things that ask you to do there to get an understanding of task two. Specialist subject area and it's built around six unit standards which range from setting up live sound all the way through to production and recording sound at the end and there's always been that problem of getting written evidence from the students uh, when we're associating our practical setups whether it be live PA or doing a recording. So that's what started the idea of actually getting them to go online, sourcing equipment and then doing online planning with all the cabling connections interfacing and how the technology works together. With my inspiration, deciding what cables I'm going to be using, connecting them to which things and... The Webspiration tool allows students to collect their ideas and present evidence of their learning. It was the first online tool adopted by the class and it soon led Alex to find other computer-based tools and resources to use with his students who had taken up this way of learning with enthusiasm. Yeah, I was fairly well taken back how quick they were to pick things up. Digital natives, I suppose, as they are class these days. So they adapt and they pick up and they use these facilities online. It's second nature to them. With such positive results, Alex developed an entire course blending online and classroom activity. The online course I designed has five tasks which uh, lead towards a practical task at the end, which is recording a music band or making a multi-track recording. That is part of the assessment. The uh, online part of the course um, prepares the students so when they do go into that practical task, they know how to run the equipment, they know how to make a professional recording by learning all the theory along the way. Yeah, talk us through it, mate. I'm running an i7 Extreme Black Edition processor in my gaming computer with a Excellent. 3D Radeon X series wow. 2 gig graphics card with HDMI out. It's my 52 inch LED 3D television. You should be able to see the sine waves pretty good there and stuff. What was initially an individualised learning process quickly became collaborative. I walked into the computer lab one day and here they are all chatting to each other not face to face, they'd actually moved it on, online themselves. And then I'd found later on the Moodle conversations started happening as well. The discussion threads on Moodle were, were critical to their learning actually. And I was helping to moderate, starting them off, telling them what would be appropriate in each discussion area. So they kept on task. They were asking um, logical questions that Usually the teacher would have been asked and they were getting pretty accurate answers from other people in the group and if they didn't know the answer they would ask someone else. The students didn't behave the same online. I found a lot of the quieter students that don't usually say much, they um, collaborated and joined in discussions online and I was quite surprised how easily and involved they became. They got amps built in. Oh, he's grabbing the <laughs> Okay, so that was an important thing to yeah, look for, right? Eh? The altered pedagogy has also seen students display greater creativity and self-expression. Alex has been impressed by the quality of thought his students now produce. The way they um, come up with different ways of achieving the objectives of the lesson. Such a variation between students when they're putting their individual thinking skills behind the assessment that we're doing and um, it, that's quite exciting to see how they can explore new technology and, and problem solve in new ways. Yeah. Mind you, that's superior what you've done, yeah. but what you need to do is go and find a mixing desk that's digital with I'll optical it, out. As a classroom teacher, my role has changed into more moderating, monitoring students and basically giving them the platform resources and, and let them go with the ideas that rather than the um, standing at the front of the class telling each one what they will do and how to do it. Now in the last few years it's more about problem solving and getting them to think about what they're doing online.